Whether you like it or not, nearly everyone has seen B-Movie. In my opinion, it's 2007's greatest film, beating Ratatouille, The Simpsons Movie, Surf's Up, and even Alvin and the Chipmunks. My favourite scene in B-Movie is the plane landing sequence at the end of the film. This is where Vanessa and Barry have to land the airliner with the help of the pollen jocks after Barry kills the two pilots with an inflatable life raft. This scene has always fascinated me, and with all this time spent in lockdown because of COVID-19, I've decided I'm going to work out if this scene is possible. First of all, we need to know what kind of bee Barry B. Benson and his friends are. Due to the film not explicitly saying that there are other types of bee in the bee movie world, I'm just going to say that our friend Barry is just a normal, ordinary, talking honeybee. Second, what size is and how much can a normal, ordinary, talking honeybee carry? According to The Biology of the Honeybee by M. L. Winston of Harvard University, honeybees typically carry pollen and nectar loads representing 20% and 35% of body mass respectively, maximally reaching 80% of body mass. This means that at most, a honeybee can lift 80% of its body weight. An average bee weighs about 0.00025 pounds, according to schoolofbees.com. Because I want to use the superior metric system, that's 0.113 grams. 80% of 0.113 grams is 0.09 grams, which, to put into perspective, is equivalent to 90 grains of salt. For the size of a bee, I just had to Google it and find a reliable source. So, according to the National Geographic, a honeybee is around 1.3 centimeters long and 0.5 centimeters wide. Third, we have to determine what kind of plane Vanessa and Barry are flying. Looking at the movie, the plane that's being flown has four turbofan engines. This narrows down the number of aircraft drastically, as all modern planes built by Airbus and Boeing, the two largest and most prominent modern aircraft manufacturers, have two turbofan engines, except for the Airbus A380 and Boeing 747. But, as the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 have partial or complete double decks, we can rule them out immediately. From this information, we can deduct that the plane is an older model, which means that McDonnell Douglas are in the running too. The three possible planes are the Airbus A340, the Douglas DC-8, and the Boeing 707. We can rule out the Douglas DC-8 and the Boeing 707 because the plane in B-Movie has doors which are not over the wing, whereas the DC-8 and 707 both have doors which exit over the wing. This means that the plane in the film is most likely the Airbus A340, or at least is modelled after it. So we will use this plane for the real-world measurements. Fourth, we have to find out the dimensions and weight of an Airbus A340. In the movie, every one of the seats are filled. This means that most likely the plane is fully loaded with baggage, cargo, and passengers. The Airbus A340's maximum takeoff weight is 260,000 kilograms, but as it wouldn't be fully fueled, we'll say the plane in the movie is weighing around 210,000 kilograms, or 210 million grams. According to the Airbus design document on Wikipedia, the plane is 75 meters 30 centimeters long and 5 meters 64 centimeters wide, and I have the wing measurements here to work out the area in a moment. So, we have worked out what kind of bee Barry and his friends are, how much one of them can lift, and their size. We also have how much the plane being lifted weighs. So, can the plane at takeoff weight be lifted with the surface area of an Airbus A340? And if not, how many bees would it actually take? Let's look at the wings first and work out their area. We only have to work out the area of one wing and then double it, as one wing is a mirror of the other. To find the area of the wing, I'm going to divide it into three different shapes. At the top, we can make a rectangle and a triangle. These are easy to work out. The rectangle sides are 5.6 meters by 7.9 meters, which gives us an area of 44.24 meters squared. The triangle has the same 5.6 meter side as the rectangle, and the other side is 3.5 meters, which gives us an area of 9.8 meters squared. Now, to finish the area of the wing, we need to find the area of this part of the wing. I'm going to use the triangle area formula to find out the area of this irregular quadrilateral. Now over to a more modern, more futuristic Zach, with the GoPro and a pen. Thank you, past pre-recorded Zach. As I said before, I'm going to use the triangle area formula to find out the area of this irregular quadrilateral. So, the triangle area formula is 0 0.5 times A times B times sine uh, C. 
and then we do the same for the other half which is going to be the other triangle so let's make this here a this b and c is the um angle of the intersection of the lines so 0 0.5 times 26.6 times 2.8 times sine 123 degrees and then we just have to add the same formula but with these plugged in instead so that is 0 0.5 times 7.9 times 24.1 times just gonna have to move this down here because I'm terrible at using up my space properly. Times sine 109. And I have worked it out before. The answer is 121.24 meters squared. So to get the total area of the wing, we then just have to add 9.8 plus. 44.24 plus 121.24 and that answer is 175.28 meters squared and then we just have to multiply that by 2 which is 350.56 meters squared and 350 0.56 meters squared is the area of both wings. And now I'm going to find the area of the lower fuselage where the bees will be supporting the plane. To do this, I'm going to be a bit cruder and just imagine the bottom of the plane is a rectangle, as it will hopefully compensate for the engines, elevators and winglets which I've decided to not work out the surface area for. So this is simple, we just take the 75 meters 30 centimeters here 75 meters 30 centimeters multiply that by the 5 meters 64 64 centimeters and we get rounded up it's 425 meters squared so that means that the total surface area for the underside of the plane is 425 meters squared plus 350.56 meters squared, which gets us 755.56 meters squared, or 7,755,000 thousand six hundred centimeters squared. Now we need the surface area a bee takes up. I'm also just going to assume that a bee is a very small rectangle here and so we will just multiply the dimensions from earlier. 1.3 times 0 0.5 equals 0 0.65 centimeters squared. And so we take the 7,755,600 centimeters squared and we divide it by 0 0.65 centimeters squared. We get 11,931,693 bees under the plane. Is this enough to carry the plane? One bee can lift 0 0.09 grams and the plane weighs 210 million grams. So 0 0.09 grams times 11,931,693 bees equals a lifting power of 1,073,852.37 grams. So, no, with one layer of bees as seen in Bee Movie, it is not possible to lift a loaded Airbus A340. But, how many bees would it take to lift the plane? To work this out, we need to divide the weight of the plane by the amount of weight one bee can hold. So, 210 million grams divided by 0 0.09 grams equals 2,333,333,334 bees. And just for some context, one bee hive holds around 30,000 bees, which means that you would need around 77,778 beehives to supply that many bees. That's a lot of bees. So, in summary, no. The plane landing scene in Bee Movie is impossible. 
there is just too little surface area for the number of bees needed. In order for the plane to be lifted by bee power alone, there would need to be 196 layers of bees underneath the plane. Anyway, this has been a lot of maths and a lot of work, but I got the answer and I'm happy. Thank you for watching.